What up, what up, YouTube? Look what I got. Finally got this thing, man. So excited. Still can't believe I got this truck. We got the Losi 5T 2.0. Oh yeah. I, um, This is the bind and drive version, which I think this is the, the only way they come now. They don't come with remote controls or transmitters. They come with uh, a spectrum receiver and then you have to uh, bind it to a spectrum remote transmitter. Um, but I'm gonna be using Fut uh, Futaba. <sighs> but man, finally got me a 5T. Let's welcome the 5T 2.0 to the family. Round of applause. Um, so yeah, as you see, <laughs> I couldn't wait. I had to unbox this thing. I was gonna try to record the unboxing, but my phone was dead when I got home from work. So I threw it on the charger, brought this baby downstairs and started tearing it, tearing it to it, getting it, freeing it from that box. This thing is, I'm telling you, videos does this no justice. This thing is humongous. Big boy truck. Uh, we got the 32 cc Zenoa in there. Um, I will run this engine. Try that out. I've heard great things about the Zenoa engines. Um, so the only thing I need to do is put my electronics in it, um, including battery. The new models don't come with none of that stuff. It's a uh, just a receiver. And the... Um, and it's a spectrum receiver, which I'm not going to be using. But this is, this is, this is her. I choose to go with the blue body. My preference. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do another video. Within the next coming days here, uh, we're going to go underneath the hood, pop the cover, and we're going to talk about some of the upgrades I'm going to do um, right off the bat. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I'm not going to be swapping that engine out no time soon. I'm going to run that Zenoa. I'm going I'm to put every upgrade I can on, on, on this engine and this platform. You know, of course, we're putting a pipe in there, but... We're going to see what that 32 cc Zenoa is all about. So I've heard great things on it. We got the LED off-road light bar up here. Come stock, standard. I might add the rear light kit. I don't know. I'm not really into all that. Um... But I do plan on putting some like a like a mesh right here and maybe up here. We'll see, we'll see. But we're gonna break it in and run it as is for now. Got some massive off-road uh style wheels. B locks. These are actual B locks. Um got the dark gray plastic wheel with a black bead lock. I'm going to change these bead locks. I might do white or blue to kind of match the scheme a little bit better. So I've been on DDM looking at little, you know, little, little minor upgrades so we can get this boy off right. Man, look at these shocks, man. Like I said, I will be doing another video very soon. We're going to pop this. We're going to take this cover off and really get a good look at it. <clears throat> Let's do a size comparison. <laughs> That's a one tenth scale short course low C nitro truck. And that's a pretty decent sized truck. 
make that thing look like a look like a Walmart RC compared to this this monster. <laughs> Well, let me know what y'all think, man. I'm in the 5T gang now. 5T. Long overdue. I've been wanting this thing since the black and white body. When it came with the 20... Uh, it's either 23cc or 26cc. Chung Yang, I believe. The very first one, the, the very first king of off-road fifth scale racing. Uh, we gonna make it do what it do with this two o. But all right, that's it for now. I appreciate everybody stopping by, helping me welcome in, welcome home to Five T Two Point and be looking for these these videos coming up later